In Elon Musk's Master Plan Part 2, Elon Musk mentioned that in addition to consumer vehicles, there are two other types of electric vehicles needed, heavy duty trucks and high passenger density urban transport. Both are in the early stages of development at Tesla and should be ready for unveiling next year. We believe the Tesla Semi will deliver a substantial reduction in the cost of cargo transport, while increasing safety and making it really fun to operate. Elon Musk said this back in 2016, and Tesla ended up revealing the Tesla Semi in 2017, but we never heard of the high passenger density urban transport vehicle that was supposedly in its early stage. Although we never got to see the high passenger vehicle, leaks are showing that Tesla is about to release the vehicle very soon. In this video, I'm going to go over all the evidence we have and why this vehicle will transform the automobile industry in the future. While the boring company doesn't get as much media attention as SpaceX and Tesla, the company is equally as important to Elon Musk's vision of our future. A few years ago, the Boring Company released a video displaying what the future of the company would be. In this video, it displayed a new vehicle that was used to transport a large amount of people. Since this video, the Boring Company just continued to use Tesla's current vehicles. However, a county official accidentally leaked Tesla's new vehicle program that will be used in the Boring Company's tunnels and maybe even be available for us consumers. The Boring Company is attempting to link Rancho Cucamonga with the Ontario International Airport. According to Mercury News, this proposal has been approved by the San Bernardino County Transportation Agency. The San Bernardino County Supervisor also told Mercury News about Tesla's upcoming electric van that will be used in the tunnel. He stated that, originally, the proposal called for specially designed Tesla cars, but Hackman said the company is working with Tesla to develop electric vans that can seat up to 12 people in their luggage, enlarging the capacity to 1200 people per day or 10 million plus per year. This is a totally groundbreaking leak, as such a vehicle would not only be important to the boring company's tunnels, but also for Tesla's goal to launch an affordable ride-sharing network. Now we do have some clues as to what this vehicle will be like as long as we look from a business perspective. Tesla's upcoming minibus likely won't be similar to the Boring Company's early concept, but it certainly will solve a few key environmental issues for the Boring Company. A common criticism of the Boring Company is what would happen if there was a fire or earthquake near or at the tunnel. With the release of the Cybertruck, the Tesla minibus will certainly be built in a way where the vehicle is fire and earthquake resistant, as making the customers feel safe has always been a priority for Elon Musk. It's no secret that Tesla's vehicles are the safest out of the bunch, as the three safest vehicles are the Tesla Model 3, S, and X. This minibus will likely be fully designed by August or September, as the county and boring company are currently working on a report that will talk about the routes, costs, and environmental concerns that will be submitted in August or September. In Elon Musk's presentation where he unveiled his plan for Tesla's upcoming ride-sharing network, he mentioned that Tesla would put out its own vehicles to support the ride-sharing network. If Tesla was to release a vehicle that could store up to 12 passengers, this could help support an option for a transportation similar to a bus that would pick up each passenger and go to the same destination. This also opens the opportunity to transform the vehicle into a van that could fit 6 passengers, as making several versions of the van wouldn't be too difficult compared to making two separate vehicles. By creating several versions of Tesla's new van, this would allow Tesla to access a wide variety of markets without having to create multiple vehicles. If Tesla was able to make an electric van with varying sizes and uses, this would capture both consumers and companies. For example, there could be a 12-passenger van for the boring company, a delivery van for companies, and a smaller-sized van for consumers. Minivans are becoming less popular because of the fact that the design isn't as appealing to the consumer. Nevertheless, Minivans are the most practical vehicles out of them all. 
if you were to look at it from, from say, an automaker's point of view, a, you know, a product planning point of view, you would ask consumers, what do you want? And they would give you a list of things like roomy, spacious cargo, good fuel economy, and even sliding doors might come up in that. And what would it be? It would be a minivan, but nobody wants to buy one because they all want SUVs now. It's such an image problem, but my God, the moment someone drives one, they say, wow, this is really practical. I really like it. If Tesla was to create a cyber van, it would not only be a practical vehicle, but also have a cool futuristic design. Ultimately, a cyber van would be the vehicle any consumer would want. It would be spacious, accelerate fast, have a long range, have a futuristic design, and be the safest of them all. In Elon Musk's master plan, he stated that with the advent of autonomy, it will probably make sense to shrink the size of buses and transition the role of bus drivers to that of fleet managers. Traffic congestion would improve due to increased passenger aerial density by eliminating the center aisle and putting seats where there are current entryways, and matching acceleration and braking to other vehicles, thus avoiding the inertial impedance to smooth traffic flow of traditional heavy buses. It would also take people all the way to their destination. Tesla's new minibus will live up to Elon Musk's goal he stated in 2016, as a vehicle that could sit up to 12 passengers would make significantly more money than normal Tesla vehicles. Musk estimated in Tesla's autonomy day that a normal Tesla vehicle would make up to $30,000 per year. If you say what would be the probable gross profit from a single robo-taxi, um, we think probably something on the order of $30,000 per year. Although this may be an overly optimistic view, a 12-passenger van would likely make over double that amount, allowing normal people like you and I to make money being a fleet manager. By owning multiple electric vans, it may be possible to make a living off of the income. This would mean cleaning the passenger van daily, repairing the vans if necessary, and watching Tesla's cameras to see if there is any misbehavior. Elon Musk has stated that you will also be able to add your car to the Tesla shared fleet just by tapping a button on the Tesla phone app and have it generate income for you while you're at work or on vacation, significantly offsetting and at times potentially exceeding the monthly loan or lease cost. Overall, Tesla's upcoming minibus helps Elon Musk achieve these goals and provide new jobs to our economy while removing old ones. Because Tesla's upcoming minibus will be larger than Tesla's normal vehicles, it will make a lot more money with vehicle-to-grid technology. Vehicle-to-grid technology is the process of selling energy from the vehicle to utility companies. Essentially, the goal with vehicle-to-grid technology is to buy energy during times of low use and sell that energy during times of high demand. With a larger battery, Tesla minibus owners will be able to buy low and sell high in larger sums ultimately making a lot more money. Tesla's current Powerwalls make around $1,000 per year using this technology according to a utility company named The National Grid. A Tesla Powerwall is able to store 13.5 kilowatt hours, so if Tesla's minibus had a 135 kilowatt hour battery pack, this would mean that the vehicle can make up to $10,000 per year by using the previous estimate. By using Elon Musk's estimate earlier, Tesla's minibus would make around $60,000 per year from ride sharing. By adding these two numbers, we obtain a total of $70,000 per year just from one minibus. Even if this estimate is off, the potential to make money with vehicle to grid technology and ride sharing is truly game changing. After all, we're used to seeing vehicles as depreciating assets and houses as appreciating assets. Tesla currently has three design centers built for the purpose of designing new vehicles. The company's design center in China is supposedly designing Tesla's upcoming cheap compact vehicle. With the leak of Tesla's new electric van, Tesla's US and Europe design centers are likely on their way to designing this new vehicle to make it the most practical from an economic standpoint. Let me know what you think about Tesla's upcoming minibus in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, Please hit the like button and subscribe so that I know you guys want to see more videos like this. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.